that whole breaking of the glass. We only had three goes at that, um, so we had to we had to get it right. We didn't have a lot of sugar glass, so yeah, I'm not really acting in that in that section. <laughs> like it's, it's you know um, yeah, he scared me, and he was he wasn't mucking around. Very soft, very gentle man, but at the same time, you know, ready to do it. So that was the first time that I met him properly. I saw him at breakfast once in the hotel um, and someone mentioned to me before that he kind of likes to keep himself by himself, keep him in his room, stay in that headspace. Um, so I saw him that time at breakfast and then the next time was him coming up to me on set being like, you better be ready boy. <laughs> For me, doing the scenes where it was all about as making it as realistic as possible, um, and and obviously get my face on the screen as much as possible. So that's why I done my stunts as well. You know what I mean? So one scene that we had a fight scene with um, he played Stephen Lang's character in the stunt in the stunt sequence. They brought out like a rubber a rubber bar with a bit of paper mache on when uh, uh, the blind man attacks me, but it was just yeah. like flying off everywhere, and I wasn't I wasn't reacting to it. And I was like, let's just get the metal one out with a concrete on it. So when they got the real one out, it was like, well, obviously it was well choreographed and all this with the stunt guys, um, James and Adam, they're good guys as well. Um, so when we got to film it, I had that, that natural reaction of, oh man, I don't want to be hit with this concrete, you know what I mean, or this metal bar. So I think the fight scene, my fight scene is probably one of the best I've seen in films because it didn't look all like tidy and neat and like, huh, huh, poof. <laughs> Working with Stephen Lang, um, the lead actor in the film, he's he's such a professional and he takes his work so very seriously. So I think he's he's not playing around. He has fun, but he's not playing around. So you better bring it when you're working with him. And I think working with him was a challenge because you had to be ready. I let him know the first take we were working together that, you know, I'm here, acknowledge me. I'm ready to work too. We're, we're gonna do this together, you know? We're all in a hotel together in our little bubble. The whole kind of cliche thing of, you know, it was one big family, but it was, you know, we were out there for three months and we got to know each other really well. So you'd get up in the morning at breakfast and you'd be sitting with like Stephen Lang or Brendan, uh, the directors, the producers, the line guys. So everyone would just sort of like became this, as cheesy as it sounds, a big family. So we were just all like talking about the movie and, and we all come really close and um, it was easy to film. It was just easy to do the scenes. It was just a new experience. We didn't know if we were going to have to shut down at any point. You know, just happy to be out of quarantine and see other humans and touch other humans upon occasion. <laughs> so it was definitely um, a wild experience, but I'm was super grateful for it. And we all had a really good time. We all worked really hard and some of us played really hard too. Brendan is, he's the guy, man. Like, he's super low key. He'll kill me for saying that, but like, he's, he was like a father figure on that set for me. He really took me under his wing, whether he likes it or not. But everyone smashed it, man. Everyone smashed it. it yeah, we, we, done, we all done a great job on it. We got it out there. We did it. I don't know how, but we did it. 